Hi, I'm Christy Culver, and I'm speaking today with Randall Alvord, candidate for the mayor of the city of Ocala. Randy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Why did you decide to enter the mayor's race? Sure, Christy. Again, my name is Randall Alvord. I'm, I'm 42 years old. I've lived here in Marion County in the city of Ocala for over 33 years. Uh, my wife and I, we've just celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. We have two beautiful little girls, Haley, age six, and Caitlin, who's age four. A um, little bit about me. Uh, I grew up again here in this area. I graduated from Vanguard High School back in 1987. And as well, I graduated from uh, Central Florida Community College with an associate's degree. Um, I'm a commercial real estate broker here in Marion County as well. And I also work for a fraternal insurer as a financial representative. Um, and I had the great opportunity to serve in the United States Marine Corps. Um, I served in Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, the Gulf War. So uh, I'm proud to call Ocala my home. Chris, you also asked why I chose to enter the mayor's race here in the city of Ocala. Again, I like to see, I don't think there's any more heir apparent to the throne here um, in the city of Ocala, especially in local politics with the economy that we're in. Um, I think we need some fresh thinking here in the community and that, that's why I chose to run. Um, I think I have the power, the desire to do it and uh, I'm really looking forward to serving as Ocala's next mayor. What would you like to accomplish as mayor? Well, first and foremost, Christy, is we need to get more jobs back into this community. That's, that's very important. We've lost thousands of jobs over the last several years here in this community. We've got to stop the bleeding with job loss. How would you bring more jobs to the area? Well, that's another great question. Uh, communities all across the country seem to be doing the same thing over and over, offering incentives, tax breaks. Um, I think we need to think a little bit outside the box. A another idea I have is not only work on bringing new businesses here to this this community, but we need to work on bringing or having retention of the existing jobs because every day it seems like there's another employer going out of business. We need to start working with those people that are on the edge of losing uh, employment and try to do what we can to keep them here in the community. And at the same time, obviously, go out into the, to the rest of the country and get more jobs to come to the community. And I think we can do that with some out-of-the-box thinking. Um, one idea I have is maybe offering a bounty to our, our citizens here in the community. They obviously know people out of the area um, that own businesses. Have them maybe expand to this area and offer them just a little bounty, a little reward to make that phone call for us. Get the citizens involved. What are some of the main issues you plan to address as mayor? Obviously we need to eliminate consulting fees here in this community. Um, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars of every year on outside consultant fees. Uh, an opponent in the mayor's race uh, suggested last year hiring Mayor Giuliani to come here and discuss with our police chief for, to, the, to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars how to fight crime here in the community. Our police department's doing an outstanding job and I think it's insulting to the police chief to want to hire an outside consultant from New York City to tell him how to do his job here. Another main issue I have is for the longest time, in fact the last century, Florida's had three economic legs. It's been agriculture, real estate, and development, and tourism. Um, and most recently, we've, we've gone out and tried to create a fourth economic leg with higher education. Um, we need to start embracing agriculture here in this community. And you can see that through the local the newspaper. You can see there's people creating cattle farms here, nonprofit farms, as well as profit farms, uh, again, here in this community. And not only just horse farms, but all the ancillary businesses that are spawned off of those agricultural uh, enterprises like uh, financial services, uh, pr packing and shipping, trucking, those can all be supported right here in the city of Ocala and obviously provide more jobs at the same time. Many people don't even realize that there's an election this year. Why isn't the mayor's race being held during a general election or even a midterm election year? Doesn't this cost the taxpayers a lot of money? To the tune of about $50,000 for this, this race that we're putting on for us for the three mayor, mayoral candidates. What I like to see done is move the elections to even numbered years, in other words, your general and midterm election years. In fact, just a year ago, less than a year ago actually, the city attorney was asked to draft an amendment to the charter, moving the elections to, to the even numbered years. Unfortunately, a few members of our city council, my opponent included, said it was unfair to city council. I think it's unfair to the taxpayers to have to bear that burden. Have you received any endorsements for your candidacy? Yes, Christy, I'm honored to say that the uh, Fraternal Order of Police, Ocala Lodge 129, um, vetted all three candidates and uh, I was chosen and I was endorsed by the uh, Ocala FOP, so I'm, I'm very proud of that. Randy, thank you so much for your time today. And remember, vote Randall Alvord for mayor Tuesday, October 18th.
A political advertisement paid for and approved by Randall Albert, nonpartisan for mayor.